Hi everyone, I wanted to go through and explain the final exam in case you missed it in class today or if I went too fast. So open up your document in Schoology and let's follow along. When you open it up, the first page is going to be like a table of contents. It lists out everything that's included in this document. Please note, when you first open it up, it can be overwhelming, but you're not doing everything that's in this document. So please take a breath. So it will list out different topics to choose from to answer your product options, the rubric, a couple of checkpoints, the day that it's due, and then a link for in-text citations on how to complete those. We're gonna go through and break down each topic, then we'll talk about each of the response types and talk about those different checkpoints. Your first option for this project, you can do a, the standard topic of chronology. The US history teachers went through and picked out you know, some of the different things we've talked about and you know, wanted to give you options. So my first option is the idea of chronology. You're gonna answer this question if you choose this topic. How does America's role as a world power evolve throughout US history? You're gonna use these documents provided below. Before I move on to anything else, please note that for any of the topics you choose, please use the sources that are provided. Anything that is underlined in blue is an active link and those are the sources that we would like you to use. This way you don't have to go out and do extra outside research. It's already done for you, all right? So anytime it says using the documents, these are the documents we're talking about. If you don't wanna do this topic, move on to the next one and delete this one. Your next option is analysis. Are the actions of athletes today making a difference, more of a difference than previous athletes did in the terms of civil rights? With this one, it's asking you to analyze actions of say Jackie Robinson or Muhammad Ali versus the actions of current day athletes like Colin Kaepernick and Serena Williams with their active stances for fighting for civil rights. Your final option is the idea of interpretation and you would answer the question, how might industrialization be interpreted differently by members of society, by different members of society? And in this one, you wanna think about the idea that they were very different people going through the exact same experience and they might have interpreted differently. Think about the common working man versus the gentleman who owned these businesses that they're working for. How might they have a different interpretation of what the industrial revolution was really like? And again, you're gonna use these sources. You have three different options for how you're gonna present your material. This is gonna be very similar to when we did our Treaty of Versailles project because I wanted you to have that, that exposure to this. Your first option is a written response. With this and with all of these options, notice that you're gonna have different requirements for your evidence and sources. So if you choose to do the written response, you're gonna need four pieces of evidence from three sources. Again, remember those sources are provided for you. And you should have noticed on the other sheets that there are multiple sources there. You're not locked into just three sources. So if you don't understand one or don't like one, you don't have to use it. Make sure you look at the rubric that comes later in this document. Again, use four pieces of evidence and you'll need to provide in-text in APA citations. Your response should be between 300 and 500 words. If you wanna to choose to do a Google slide and screencast, that's your second option. Here, note that you have to use six pieces of evidence and four different sources. Your final product needs to be at least four slides long and your screencast needs to be between three minutes and five minutes. Think about what I'm doing right now. That's what you should model yourself off of. You don't have to show your face like I am. It could just be a voiceover, that's fine. But you're ultimately going through your slideshow and then giving a voiceover to add extra details. Notice the things that I'm saying right now aren't written on this page. I'm providing extra. Final, your final option, oops. Your final option is a recorded speech and outline. This would be similar to if you like to give the recorded option for CNN 10. Your outline we'll talk about in a minute because actually everyone has to do the same outline. But notice again, you need six pieces of evidence from four different sources. And your ultimate recording should be at least three minutes long and no longer than five minutes. Here's the rubric that's gonna be held accountable for you. Notice it's worth 100 points. This is everything you need to do to get a perfect score. If you choose option two or three and only say do the slideshow but don't do the screencast, 
you are going to get knocked in this development part. So you won't get full points if you only do half of the project. So please keep that in mind, that if you're doing options two or three, you need two different things, a screencast and the slides, a recorded speech and the outline to get full credit. Here are your quick checks that we talked about. Next week, you're off for Martin Luther King Day, but on Tuesday, we're going to have a live session where you pop in and we're going to see what you chose. So by Tuesday the 19th, you need to have this sheet filled out. So for example, you might put that you're going to do the chronology option and you're going to provide the written response. You'll log into the team's meeting. I'll check you off and then let you go. On, two, on Wednesday, the 20th, you need to come to class with this filled out, your graphic organizer. And for those of you who might have chose the option three, the recorded speech, this is your outline. If you're choosing option number one, you don't need to do these purple boxes. Because again, remember, you only need three sources and you need to provide four pieces of evidence. So you can delete these or just leave them blank. If you're choosing to do option two or three, you need to fill out this entire document. And it is editable, edited, editable within this document. You just type right in the boxes. So you need to fill this entire thing out. This is where you would put your in-text citations that you're going to use in your document. As a reminder, an in-text citation is just this, the author's last name and the year of publication. You're not going to provide to me the URL or the full reference page because we're not doing a reference page. I just need the in-text citation. You'll also pull the quotes that you're using as evidence and explain how they're going to help you answer your question. This can be bulleted because again, remember, it's an outline and it's a way to generate your thoughts and organize them. The final page in this document shows you that this whole thing is due on the 22nd and this is where you're going to provide your final product. If you're doing option one, you're just going to provide your written response right there. You're just going to type it in this blue box. Unfortunately, Google Slides doesn't give you the option for a word count. So if you want to know what your word count is, I would strongly suggest opening a separate Google Doc. We'll use this one as an example. Type your paper, highlight, go to tools, word count, and you can see that this document has 111 words. If this were my paper, I'm not quite there yet. If you do have between 305, you would copy and then paste straight into this document and then hit submit. If you're choosing option number two, you would provide me with a link to your slides and a link to your screencast. Or you could also drop, use the insert video option and drop your screencast right in here. That's completely up to you. If you're doing the recorded video, recorded speech, you would give me a link to it, or again, you could do the insert video option and put it right in here. You don't need to provide me with a link to your outline because again, that's on the slide above that everyone has to do. So that's your final exam. It's due, as I said, on January 22nd. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me, whether that be email or if you need an individual Teams, teams meeting. If you don't know how to put links in here, please reach out to me. I do not want shared documents. I want the actual links in this document and then hit submit. So again, please remember to be ready to log in on January 19th and 20th for quick check-ins. Again, if you have questions, reach out to me. Good luck. You guys got this. You know how to do it.